Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lights here, we're back again with another video and I just want to do a quick update. This morning I uh, woke up and realised that Sparkpoint had come down a little bit further, but we also got the bounce that we were looking for off this support level down here. If you can see, that perfectly lines up with the previous top over here, okay, and as you can see, Sparkpoint did come down, okay, uh, Sparkpoint did come down, right, and then bounced off that support level quite nicely okay if you did buy that support line you would have been making about 40 45 percent okay so that's a 45 uh, percent bounce all right now in the previous video i talked about um, spark point kind of having these little dips coming back up and continuing sideways all right um, one thing that we can see at the moment is that it has come up and it's failing to stay above this line which is the, pre the previous support all right but if we can break through that then you know we're in, we're in a good place and we can hold that level of support if we can hold that uh, continue to hold that level of support that would be great okay but at the moment um if it can't um maintain some strength above this level and this candle closes i mean this is a new candle um okay we've got a new candle um coming um you can't see it maybe because it's the green lines on it yeah but obviously this candle is closed a bit bearish all right so it's failed to break through but it could still happen okay especially you can see that this candle is closed um is still above this uh, the orange line over here okay so if we can get that to push out of there and continue um uh, above this level then that would be great but if not it could probably push down okay and continue trading in this range all right guys in the previous uh, video we did kind of highlight the fact that spot point came down okay um last time we draw a line like that okay when it broke through sorry let's do it like that okay now this line was acting as resistance all right and it was finding support underneath all right but then eventually it broke through and it held support above there and then it went off to the upside okay now Obviously, history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes, all right? So nothing's going to be exactly the same, all right? But we see it going more like a support up here, and then it breaks down. And, you know, if it is going to be resisting under here, we just need to be patient with it to see whether it breaks back up again, okay? If we do break below this level, okay, then it could potentially come down a lot further, all right, guys? And by a lot further, I mean roughly 75 percent to, to the downside guys all right so yeah right about now um it is showing a good sign of strength we've got the buyers coming in down here and that's the thing about these support levels the buyers are waiting here okay so if it comes down it was, uh, again you could see like maybe like a double button kind of thing and then it come back up all right but yeah that's spark point at the moment at least we got the bounce we can see that the buyers are waiting down here all right guys it's not just going to fall down to the wayside and take us to zero all right so that's spark point okay now we've been talking about kusama okay kusama is currently at 45 dollars all right it's one of the ones that, has, that is holding up um, while while some of the altcoins are taking a bit of a dip, all right, guys, you can see that W pattern, okay? That Kasama could potentially have more upside, but at the moment, you can see you've got you had that little pump there, and then you got one, two, okay, smaller candles, all right. Uh, uh, at least with the the body closes, now you can see a couple of red ones, okay. Now that could come down and then kind of continue up, all right. Um, if you want to know what I'm thinking about Kusama, go back and watch a previous video. But one thing we haven't talked about is Polkadot, all right, and Kusama, Kusama obviously is the cousin of Polkadot, same founder, all right, Gavin Wood, all right, but Polkadot um, hasn't, isn't done yet, all right, uh, by the looks of it, okay, obviously you've seen it's had a bit of a run, okay, but now it's consolidating in this range, all right, so I think that Polkadot um, could potentially be uh, looking for a move to the upside pretty soon. Alright, 
pretty soon. Um, just do that, that like that, okay? So it's trading within this range at the moment, okay? If it breaks above this range, all right? If we discount that wick there, all right? Um, I think it's going to go. I think it's going to go a lot more to the upside, okay? Um, one of the reasons being that Polkadot has got the hype around it. You have to follow the money. You have to follow the hype sometimes, all right? So Polkadot and Kusama coins like that. They're obviously performing well, while other ones, while other coins are not performing as well. Okay, so um, yeah, I think that's definitely one to watch. So you can see this kind of a W pattern forming on Polkadot as well. All right, and it's trending to the upside. Okay, so it's only a matter of time. Maybe in the next couple of hours, maybe in the next 12 hours, this could be breaking through, guys. And um, if we put our indicators on, let's get our MACD and get our RSI. Okay, so on the four hour, we've got a bullish cross. Just come, all right? That's self-explanatory, isn't it? You know, momentum shift to the upside, bullish cross, and on the RSI, it's got room to run, okay? Let's just change that. So there's room to run on the RSI, okay? It's not... Perfect, it would be nice if it was all the way down here, but obviously it's an indicator of the price action as well, okay? The, um, the, the strength of the trend is, you know, not looking too bad, all right? But with that bullish MACD cross on the four hour, and with the pattern that's forming here, that kind of W kind of moving sideways, um, I think we'll get the break, okay? Um, how violently would it move to the upside? That's the question, all right? Um, might just take it time like it has done over here. Obviously, these are four hour candles. All right, but if we go from the bottom here, you can see that that was like a 75% move. All right, guys, so it would be nice if that did do kind of the same thing um, going up. All right. Oh, sorry about that. If it did the same thing going up, we're looking. Okay, let's just do this. All right. Let's get our tool out. For example, if it went from here to there, okay. And then we move that from there to there, okay. So that could be a potential move to the upside for Polkadot, a potential, you know, 50 to 60% move, okay. Um, yeah. I'm not saying that's gonna happen all right, but that's how I'd be looking at it if it did, okay. And it's not a ball flag, really. So, you know, me drawing that. But, I mean, it looks like, you know, it is heading that direction. All right, guys. I'm not saying it's just going to go up like that in a straight line. But it is trending that way. Okay. So, yeah. Polka dot is not one to sleep on. Okay. you got to follow the money. you got to follow the hype. Okay. And Polka dot has got a lot of hype around it. As, like, potentially the new Ethereum and all that sort of stuff. Or the Ethereum killer, some like to say. I mean, Gavin Wood, the founder, in his own words, said that, you know, Polkadot is there to complement Ethereum, all right? These guys all know each other. They're not trying to take each other out, you know? So, um, yeah, competition is always healthy for the space as well. And, um, yeah, I think Polkadot is definitely um, in the race, okay, guys? So, yeah, just a quick one today, all right? Um, start in the morning a bit late, um, personally, all right? But I've got to take a trip now to Leicester and uh, kind of handle some things down there um, for work and um, yeah I'll be back um, around the afternoon time late afternoon and we'll have a look at these charts and see what's going on all right guys so yeah if you haven't subscribed to the channel already subscribe leave a like and a comment down below let me know what you think guys and I'll see you in the next video